Hi, I'm Jeff Cialetti, author of The Drinkable Globe, and I am in Berlin for Bar Convent Berlin, one of the bar industry's biggest trade shows. If anything, uh, Bar Convent Berlin 2017 confirmed to me that gin is now a global phenomenon. Uh, the gin renaissance is in full swing the world over. I had gins from many, many parts of Europe as well as Japan, and as you'd expect, Japan has managed to perfect the spirit as they so often perfect so many things. And speaking of gin, as you may know, gin evolved from the Dutch spirit Geneva. A number of Dutch Geneva producers pulled the resources and hosted the Geneva district, which was a nice pavilion uh, just with Geneva producers. Uh, if you haven't tried the spirit, you really should. I think it's, I wouldn't say the next big thing, but it's definitely gonna find its niche in the US. The bartenders are really loving to work with it, so I'm sure it's gonna start popping up in a lot more cocktails. And there were a lot of things that uh, I cover in my new book, The Drinkable Globe. A lot of those spirits were showcased here. Everything from Riga Black Balsam, which is a Latvian herbal liqueur, and uh, Licor Beirao from Portugal, uh, a little bit sweeter, but it's also sort of got a you know very traditional following in Portugal. Another one is Bekarovka, which is a liqueur from the Czech Republic. It's like an Amaro, but it's a little bit more cinnamony, maybe a little bit of allspice. It's got a very unique flavor, especially if you compare it to other liqueurs of its ilk. Of course, Tiki's really big. It's not just an American phenomenon. It's all over the world. And Havana Club, the uh, Cuban rum, had a, had a tiki bar set up here at the show, which was pretty cool. It was also great to see a lot of Japanese shochu and sake producers here. You know how much I love those things. You know that I'm a uh, certified sake somali, so it always warms my heart when I see those beverages expand throughout the world. And one thing that I found particularly interesting was there seems to be a bit of uh, an effort to reinvent the vodka category. You've got brands are talking more about the terroir of vodka, which you didn't really talk about before. It used to be just about the blingy bottles and, you know, those really saccharine sweet uh, dessert flavors and stuff. But now people are actually talking about the bases. But even more than that, they're really pushing the boundaries on what vodka can be. The official definition is that it's supposed to be odorless, flavorless, yada, yada, yada. But people are making rougher, dirtier versions where you can actually taste the base ingredient. There's one product called Vestal. Uh, it's produced in Poland, but uh, they've got a base of operations in the UK as well. And they're using a lot of regional potatoes. They've got uh, different, almost vintages. They've got like a 2010 version, 2013 version. And they're using potatoes from different regions of Poland. And they're giving a very, very distinct flavor. It's very earthy, just very flavorful, just very robust. Words that you wouldn't typically associate with vodka. I saw a little bit of that last year when I was in Poland. Of course, you've got Belvedere is really uh, playing up the rye base of their vodka, but even more than that, Chopin vodka, they have their, you know, single potato, single rye, uh, single wheat, uh, and they don't even call them vodka since they're really only distilled once, and they really, really retain the flavor of the base ingredient. And interestingly, there's a product called Poligar, and I'm probably not pronouncing it right, Polugar, P-O-L-U-G-A-R. It's basically vodka, but they're marketing it as sort of the forerunner to what we think of as vodka. The concept behind it is vodka basically started as a moonshine. You didn't get the clean, neutral flavors that you have now. You know, this stuff was all pot distilled back in the day, so it was really, uh, really dirty, really funky, really rough around the edges. And, and Poligar, as well as some of these other brands that I mentioned, they're really starting to capture that. And remember to keep the conversation going on Twitter at Jeff Cialetti and on Instagram at Drinkable Globe. And order my new book, The Drinkable Globe, at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and wherever fine books are sold. And no matter where the road may take you, remember to grab the world by the glass.